Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about what is cloud computing. Now, uh, cloud computing is an amazing technology altogether, guys. It is also one of the most emerging technology. There was an emerging technology which is called as sovereign cloud, which I may probably discuss in the last. But in this video, I'll try to cover all these things. I'll try to say it in the form of story so that you'll definitely be able to understand it in an easy manner. Now, uh, if you're new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification icon. And yes, please watch this video till the end. It will definitely be useful. To begin with, what I'm going to do is that, guys, I'm just going to tell you the definition of cloud computing. Okay, so cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, such as data storage. It may be physical server, virtual servers. It may be computing power. Now, if I talk about data storage, it can be any kind of databases, MongoDB, MySQL, you know, Cassandra, it may be different, different kind of databases. If I talk about computing power, it may be GPUs, CPUs. Uh, if I talk about servers, you know, it may be physical or virtual server where we install or where we host our entire web applications, you know, with respect to different, different kind of things, right? Nowadays, you, you'll be seeing, you'll be using Google Drive, you'll be using Netflix, you'll be using AWS, right? All these actually provide this kind of cloud computing services. And we use a lot, but still many people have that specific confusion. Now to begin with, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to tell you a very small story, which will definitely be helpful to you. Now, <clears throat> in this small story, what I'm going to do is that, let's understand that I'm in my 90s, you know, and I probably want to open a startup, I really have a small capital amount. So what I do, I hire some people for doing the work. Now suppose initially I just had five to 10 people, right? Now to handle all these things uh, with respect to handling these people, what I did is that uh, I used to just uh, create a registry book, registry book where we write, you know, and probably every day attendance was being taken over there. You know, if anybody wants to apply for the job, I had to tell him to fill a physical form itself, right? So in that specific way, everything was happening. But one fine day, my company started doing well. Then what I did is that I started hiring more people. Now, before it was five, then I hired 100 people. Now, after I hired 100 people, then again, I was using that same format. I was using the registry. And trust me, after 12 months, the registry will become very huge. You know, uh, the books will become more. So I do not want to handle all these things because it was taking physical spaces over here. I had to basically keep it. I had to actually maintain it. I have to see, verify it and do a lot of things, right? So I did not want to do that. So what I did is that I moved into the most technological side, you know, instead of maintaining a registry, I bought some databases. I, uh, instead of um, like, suppose if I want to hire someone, they had to apply it from some web application. So I hosted a new application into the server. All this server databases, computing power, what I did is that I bought it and I kept it within my premise. So this system is called as on-premise system right? Where probably I want to put all my server within the office space itself. I want to buy the databases also. Tomorrow, if I hire some more people, what I have to additionally do, I have to additionally buy more servers or I have to additionally buy more databases, right? For the storage purpose, right? Now, this is the thing. Now, after some years has passed on, you know, my company did more well now, you know, and now I probably had to hire thousands of people's. Now, at that point of time, if I really want to again store the entire information of the people, probably provide them some kind of system or uh, some type of virtual server so that they can actually work on that or probably create all the entries in the database, store all the employee information, I really required a lot of resources. So companies like AWS, Amazon, Google, you know, Google and Azure, what they told me, Krish, don't worry about all these things in our in different, different location. We have the entire infrastructure, infrastructure of GPU, computing resources, CPU, infrastructure of data space storage unit, you know, infrastructure for physical servers, virtual servers. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. We have developed something called as cloud computing, and this will be available to you. Only the thing that you need to have is on access on, you need just need to have an internet access and you'll be able to access all these things. And then I said, Oh, wow, fine. Then what will be the cost? Because right now I'm spending this much money, you know? So they started explaining me the different types of cost. They told me that based on maintaining a physical thing in your premises, it will definitely be cheaper than that. I was pretty much happy. Okay, fine. It is cheaper than that. So I'll definitely try to go towards your resources. Then I told that probably tomorrow if I hire 
hundred k people, then at that point of time, what is the cost fluctuation that make up? They say that as you hire more and more people, as you use more and more services, that time you have to just pay as you go or as you use those services. That basically means that as I use more and more, more and more services, I have to at that point of time I have to pay more and more. That's it. And this entire cloud computing resources or services is actually provided by AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. So I'm pretty much happy over there. Right, fine. Tomorrow <clears throat> I have hosted some kind of web application in their server. Okay. And probably I want to, uh, you know, at one point of time, there are many people who are visiting my web application. Many people are using our services and all. At that point of time, the pay will actually go a little bit higher. At point, some point of time when people are not using, the pay will go as less. So this actually gives me a comfortability to use the cloud computing things over there. Tomorrow, if I want to additionally use the additional GPU, I may directly use their services. So I don't have to be dependent on anything. I don't have to be dependent on installing the services in my system. And this system is called as infrastructure as a service. Understand guys, infrastructure as a service. That basically means that Google, AWS, Azure, they have provided us the infrastructure. I don't have to worry about the infrastructure over there. Only the thing that I need to have is internet access. And on demand, I will be able to use all the resources that are available. So tomorrow, if I want to host a new database, I'll directly be hosting in their physical server. If tomorrow, if I really want to use any kind of computing services, I can directly use their uh, from their itself from their services itself. And as I use more and more, I have to pay more and more. Even the storage unit, I don't have to buy new hard disk. I don't have to set up new systems for saving my data or saving my images, saving my files, anything as such. I'll directly use their services of storage also. In AWS, you have AWS S3 buckets, right? I can use that. In Google Cloud also, you have that. Even Google Drive, I think you have heard of Google Drive also, which by default provides you 15 GB of free uh, storage unit. If you really want to increase it to 1 TB, probably yearly somewhere around 400 or 500 rupees they'll be taking for that specific access, right? So in this specific way, you're using some services on, on, on the cloud itself and those services, without those services, you'll be able to do most of your task. And only the thing that you'll be needing is your internet access so that you will be able to call those services on demand. Without internet, it will not be possible. Now, this has definitely helped many, many industries. Trust me, many, many industries because every industry will not be able to set up their on-premise servers, GPU cost and all. They will not be able to do it, you know, because it will be costing too much of money. Right. If I talk about GPU, suppose if an AI startup is getting launched, right, and they require a high configuration GPU, and the most highest configuration GPU probably it may cost you more than you know 10 million, 10 million rupees INR or one crore INR. No, it can be so costly, right? So you cannot invest so much of money. Instead, what we do, we directly use those services, and this services is actually provided by people or by the company who are owning this huge infrastructure they also will be creating those kind of infrastructure and they will be creating in such a way that they will be giving the access to the entire world and obviously you have to pay you are basically renting the services okay if you do in this on premise uh, on premise things you have to hire engineers you have to hire the support team you have to probably take care of so many things and in on premise what may happen suppose your server gets damaged who will be taking care of it what if your data get lost what if your data get corrupted? What if there is a security issue on your system? That all will be handled by this big players like Google, AWS or Azure. They make sure that always security is maintained. They have somewhere around 99.9999% success rate. They give that approval when they are signing the agreement itself. You know, so all these things are there. So in short, what is cloud computing? You are using some amazing computer resources, let it be like data storage, physical servers, probably uh, virtual servers uh, and all, uh, even computing power for your purpose, for your work purpose. And you pay the companies from where you're taking the services as you use it, okay? There is also one kind of service which is called as platform as a service. In platform as a service, uh, you know, they will also be providing you the platform itself. They'll not provide you the infrastructure, but instead they'll provide you the platform. You know, the platform, everything will be set up and all, you know, and in the deployment of your applications and all, this will definitely be helpful, right? So cloud computing is very much 
uh, amazing thing guys and you should definitely be using it a lot i know you internally you'll be using now in whichever companies you'll be working you'll be seeing that yes we don't have to hire many people unnecessary but instead try to provide all the services so that these big players like amazon or uh, probably google uh, you know they take care of your uh, data duplication da sorry not data duplication data protection security you know even loss of data will also get protected if suppose and and this data this everything will be available on demand guys because they have infrastructure in multiple regions not only in one region multiple regions throughout the world you know probably in, uh, if i talk about india they have their servers in mumbai okay if you want to use the server of us you can use it if you want to use the server of ireland you have to use it so only that amount of latency will be there right so by this just by using your mobile phone you'll be able to check your images you'll be able to access the web application you'll be able to uh, do everything that you are you're having you, you'll be seeing right when you're using google photos google forms google drives how you're using it those services are being used by you you know so everywhere those there are different different clouds we basically say it as cloud it's not like that cloud that will actually rain <laughs> this cloud computing is mostly like they have big infrastructures guys okay don't get confused with cloud and rain cloud okay so this is more about infrastructure so i hope you like this particular video i hope you have understood this understanding with respect to cloud computing you know it is mostly using infrastructure on demand with the help of internet from this big giants like aws and all because they provide some amazing services with respect to this right and uh, yes uh, this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one dog bye bye